A uniform board with mass capital M and length L is placed at rest on a frictionless horizontal table. The board is free to move. A linear impulse is applied at point P on the board, a distance D away from its center as shown in the figure. Find in part 1 the translational speed of the board after the application of the impulse and part 2 the angular speed of the board. The moment of inertia of the board about an axis passing through its center of mass is given by capital M L squared over 12. Okay, so what we need to pay attention to here is this statement. The board is free to move. Therefore, we don't have a defined pivot point. Now, we have an impulse being applied. Therefore, we can use impulse momentum theorem. And what is the impulse momentum theorem? The impulse that we apply is equal to the change in the linear momentum. Now, uh, we have it initially at rest, placed at rest. And therefore, we have uh, no initial linear momentum. Final linear momentum will be capital M times uh, the translational uh, speed of the center of mass minus zero. This is equal to our impulse. Therefore, we will see that the translational speed of the board after the application of the impulse will be impulse I divided by the mass M. Now, in the second part, we want to know the angular speed of the board. So, uh, if the angular speed of the board is to be determined when the board is free to move, we will consider a center of mass as a, a pivot point for the free motion. And we have angular the momentum angular impulse theorem which says that the angular impulse i theta which is uh, r cross i so basically we have a distance d from the center so it's uh, d times i so we go from uh, the center to the point of application of the impulse. So we have D cross I, and then we see that we have an angular momentum pointing out of the page in K hat direction. So let's say that uh, this is our Z axis coming out of the board. This is X axis, this is Y axis. We have di k hat as the angular impulse and that must be equal to the change in the angular momentum and for a rigid object the angular momentum is given by i omega because we have a rotation with respect to center of mass it will be i center of mass times omega therefore we will see that omega is equal to uh, because i center of mass was given to us ml squared over 12, uh, 12 di, it will be 12 di divided by capital M l squared.